A question I get asked all the time is, what is Bubble? Admittedly, it's usually after I've been talking about Bubble unprompted for about five minutes. But it's a fair question, and it also happens to be the question I was asking back in October 2019 when I first discovered this amazing platform. So let me tell you what Bubble is. Bubble is a no-code app builder. Now, what is no-code, you say? No-code means people like me who can't write code, who don't know the syntax, who have maybe tried to learn and failed many times, are still able to build apps just by dragging and dropping elements on an interface and creating instructions in plain English. Think of it a bit like designing things in PowerPoint, except you can make every element on your PowerPoint do things. Let me give you an example. This is an app I've been building for a course I'm making. It's a simple project management app. This is what the front end of the app looks like, the part the users will see. And this is what the editor looks like. As you can see, everything on here is simply a drag and drop element, which I can take from the left hand side and drag onto the page. Now let's say for example, I want to make a change to the way you add a task. I've noticed that you can't add a category for the task here, and I want that functionality added. I just go into my editor, find the pop-up, Then I'm going to save time by copying and pasting one of the existing elements, type over the wording, then I'm going to go to my input forms on the left hand side, I want a drop down. Add a drop down there, change the width a bit, delete that, and then I'm going to tell it what data do I want to show in the drop down. Well I want dynamic choices and the type of choices is going to be categories. How do I get those categories? I want it to do a search in the database for all the categories. And what do I want to display for each category? Well, I will just want to display the name. Now I've done that, I need to update the workflow on this button. So I click on the button and I click Edit Workflow. And that takes me to the Workflows tab. Here you can see I have an action that says Create a new task. So I'm going to add another field in here, which is Category and that is going to be equal to drop down A's value. So whatever someone selects in that drop down is going to be added to the category. If I go here and reload the page, now I'm going to add a new task. I'll give it a deadline of two days time, 1 p.m. and I'm going to choose a category and add the task. There's the new task with the category added. And that's how easy it is to make changes to a Bubble app. So now you've seen that, you might be asking, well, what can I actually build with Bubble? And the answer is you can build almost anything you can think of, primarily web apps, but you can also build mobile apps as well. Here are some examples of my favorite Bubble apps. So this one is called Incomey. It's an invoicing app for freelancers. As you can see, it has an awesome landing page and looks just like every other professional app you've ever seen. I actually signed up to this just so I could try it out even though I don't really do much invoicing. So for example, I can create a new invoice, view a preview of that invoice, I can send it to the client, I can duplicate it, I can download the PDF, and I can change its status, and view all of my earnings on my dashboard. This app was built in Bubble. Here's another example. UseLoop is an app for Shopify merchants, which enables them to collect feedback from their customers using custom surveys. It's fully integrated into the Shopify store, and it was all built with Bubble. Next is Productivity Suite. It's a combination of Asana, ClickUp, and Notion. You can do super cool things like create Kanban boards, documents, and sheets. Here I created my own account. I can create a document. I can create a Kanban board. I've created a sheet here. You can add new rows to it and just type into any way you see an input. On my website, I've done loads of interviews with people who have discovered no code and used it to build businesses. This is David Bressler. He was on paternity leave when he started playing around with Bubble and within a few weeks had launched an AI powered Excel formula app called Excel Formula Bot. Nine months later, it enabled him to leave his full-time job to focus on building his business. He's since renamed it to formulabot.com and it's doing really well. This is Alex Rainey, who with his co-founder Mike Heap started My Ask AI. And within only one and a half months of launching, they reached $6,000 in monthly recurring revenue. 
This is their app which allows anyone to add AI bots to their website. This is Chad Sackenchik. He has a complex app which enables entrepreneurs to set up businesses in the US. Previously it was fully built with code which means he had $8,000 a month being paid in salaries to his developers. He's since rebuilt the whole thing in bubble and has saved himself $8,000 a month. This is Andrew Vernon. His family has a business taking photographs for schools and colleges. He realised it was an absolute nightmare trying to organise all the logistics around a school photo shoot, so he built his own software to help him. The software turned out to be so useful that he's now selling it to other volume photographers and has built a nice side business out of it. And finally, this is Louis Pereira. He recently launched an AI app which takes jumbled voice notes and turns them into clearly written text. He built the app in only half a day and within a few weeks he had a thousand paying customers. So that's my rather long-winded answer to the question, what is Bubble.io? If you're interested to find out more, follow my YouTube channel and check out my website, nocodelife.com. Thanks.